I'm involved in the Women's Health Grampians training. Um, it's really important work for me. I'm a dad and I've got a teenage daughter. Um, I'm a husband, I'm a community member. So I've, I love the ability to use my, my, male, my male privilege, my white male privilege for good in this space. Yeah, I'm involved in the training because when I first got exposed to the prevalence of um, domestic and family violence, it, um, it actually came as quite a shock to me. And um, an old saying um, really sort of tied the two things together, my involvement. Um, and that was um, evil um, triumphs if good people do nothing. This work's really important to me because I see that what we're doing is we're making the world more respectful and equal, one conversation at a time. And we get to meet such an enormous range of people and we often go into spaces that are their spaces and it's comfortable but we get to have those courageous, important conversations which are what we need to do. So I, I really enjoy the mixed gender team. I feel for me, as, as, as a bloke, it's really nice for me to work with, with a female and, and share our own perspectives of gender and how mm -hmm. it's affected us, um, both positively and negatively, as a male or as a female in the past. Um, we're able to share stories and the debrief is also really rich as well. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I think the, the mixed gender allows people like myself, um, being you know, a privileged white male, to speak to my peers, um, yeah, hopefully have a greater level of influence um, through that. So. I, think the, um, I think it's great for us to be in a gender balanced team who are presenting. Um, so, sometimes people's own, the people that we're talking to hear better from different people um, and I mean, that's, that's the world that we're in. But actually I think the main thing, the main benefit from our, um, particularly when we also have the equality advocates present, is that we get to model the sort of behaviour that we want other people to have.